Guys, right now I am standing in front of a 26-foot inflatable jack-o'-lantern that was sent to me by a company called Ozis. I just put lights in this thing and in about 10 minutes it's going to be dark. And you're going to get to see just how awesome this looks, illuminating the entire neighborhood. But let's back up for a minute and see just what it took to get this big guy inflated. So this comes from a company called Ozis. You can find it on Amazon. I will put a link below. It comes with both the inflatable and the blower, but they come in two separate packages is because they're big boxes. The inflatable comes with ropes, stakes, instructions, and extra fabric to repair him in case he tears. It also comes with sandbags, a little sewing kit, and a bag to store your pumpkin in once you're done. Unrolling it and hooking it to the blower literally took just about a minute. Inflating it completely took about 20 minutes. It's best to have two to three people, but if you do it yourself, you just have to have your ties and stakes ready and keep walking around the pumpkin and making sure it's inflating correctly. There are zippers on both sides and the bottom. Make sure those are closed. Tie the tethers onto the loops around the pumpkin and loosely tie them to the stakes in the ground just to hold on to it so you can move it around while it inflates. When it's completely inflated, then you can put those stakes exactly where they need to be. As for positioning, you can use the face on the front of the pumpkin as a guide. This pumpkin does not come with lights. You have to buy your own light string. And the loop to hang the lights is inside the pumpkin all the way up on the top under the stem. So either before you start inflating your pumpkin or after it's only about a quarter of the way, you have to unzip one of the zippers, climb inside, and hook the lights to that loop. And remember, it's 26 feet tall, so you're going to need at least a 30 foot long string of lights and an extension cord. After it's completely inflated and it's wherever you want it in your yard, you can put your final stakes in wherever you need them, secure them with the ties, and you're good to go. And that is it, guys. This is how it looks in the daylight. Light, and this is what it looks like at night. Look at that enormous thing. Look how big and bright it is. How cool is that? Can you imagine having that in your front yard for trick or treat on Halloween night? Let's just take a little walk around the neighborhood and I'll show you what it looks like from different areas. Oh my gosh, look at that thing, guys. It is absolutely enormous. Let's go across the street here. Imagine if you were out trick-or-treating and you saw that thing in somebody's front yard. It's so huge, it literally looks like a hot air balloon sitting there. Look at how awesome that looks across the street there. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely enormous. Biggest pumpkin I've ever seen in my life. I love how it looks from the side here too. That is so hilarious. Let's keep moving down the street here a little bit. Down here you can see it emerging from behind the bushes. And just imagine coming around the corner here and seeing that guy peering out from behind that giant tree up there. All the neighbors have been out to see it. People walking their dogs, stopping by. A truckload of people even drove by and yelled trick or treat. So there it is, guys. How absolutely amazing is that? That other Nate guy is standing right inside there. <laughs> <laughs> As I was pulling around the corner, from all the way down there, I could see this thing like it was rising like the great pumpkin from uh, <laughs> the peanuts. I could see it like rising as I was turning the corner and this ginormous orange ball. You can tell right away it's a pumpkin turning the corner. This thing is nuts. It is the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen in my life. I love it. That is the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. I'm not sure if that's bigger or smaller than the one that is on top the Spirit Halloween flagship store in New Jersey, but man, it's gotta be close. I'm just gonna walk up to it here and see if you can see just how huge it is compared to me. All right, that's it guys. There it is, 26 foot inflatable pumpkin, 26 feet tall, 22 feet wide. If you wanna get one for yourself, there is a link below to the Amazon listing. It's made by a company called Ozis. And if you wanna see a longer, more in-depth unboxing and review of this, go on over to my other channel, Romancing the States. Otherwise, thank you for watching and happy Halloween.